New tonight, neighbors in Garden City outraged over a house covered in graffiti by the homeowner. And now the city is trying to crack down on the eyesore. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaked is in Garden City with that story. This is certainly one of the more bizarre vandalism type stories we have covered, and all signs point to a woman who simply needs help. It's the house that's now drawing out of town visitors and continuing to infuriate neighbors, especially parents. It's not too good for the young ones that live around here. I mean, I've lived here almost all my life and never seen anything like it. There's children that live right there. That's the first thing they've seen when they got ready to go to the bus, is that mess. Action News has learned the owner of this home on Deering Street decided to spray paint these messages on her own house. No one really knows why, and when we paid her a visit, we got no answer, despite the SUV parked in the driveway. In the front window, all we could see was a Thelma and Louise DVD and a sign reading, college teacher and published author. What do you think she was trying to send as a message? Who knows? I don't know. There's been other things out there that she's put out. I don't know. I've seen her, you know, swearing at the street lights and whatnot. That's and you hear her yelling and screaming in her backyard and from her house. Just as unsettling as the self-inflicted vandalism discovered Tuesday morning is the fact cops can't do a thing about it. The homeowner has the right to put what she wants on her property, and considering her First Amendment rights, police can only try to get her some help. However, code enforcement officers will also be paying a visit, as this may violate a city ordinance. I'd like to see it, you know, covered up, finished over, whatever, gone. It is unknown if ordinance enforcement officers made contact with the woman today, but we do know they will be following up soon to see what more can be done. From Garden City, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.